Hey YouTube. So a couple of days ago I did a video where somebody had asked me what's in your dock. And in that video I mentioned one of the applications in my dock was my um, media center which I use to stream videos um, to my TV since I keep all my videos and my, all my movies and um, the few TV shows that I have like my favorite TV show 24. Um, basically what I do, let me just start off with kind of what I do is when I get a DVD movie, <clears throat> excuse me, or now Blu-ray movies, I will um, rip them and save them digitally. I'll compress them, make the file a little smaller, um, and save them digitally. And, um, and I have this software called Plex, which basically media manages it. Um, what I love about it is that you just name your file, the movie name and the year, and it goes out to the internet and it finds, you know, the name, the director, the poster, the genre, the art. It finds everything so that when you get into your actual software, um, hold on. When you get into your actual software, um, you can now search for your movies by genre, by actor, by director, by kind of anything you want. So it makes it a lot easier than just having, you know, because I have a lot of movies. I mean, I'm I'm up to like over a thousand movies that I've stored digitally now um, from way back. I mean, I've been collecting movies for a very long time. And in my field, I mean, I'm, I'm an art director and I design movie posters. I'm in entertainment advertising. And so I get tax write-offs whenever I buy a movie or whenever I buy a DVD or whatever it is. That's why I've been collecting movies for a very long time now. Um, but I thought I'd show a video of kind of how I do it. Um, first things first is my main computer. Now my main computer is a Mac Pro, and I'll show you. It's a, I have a Mac Pro 266 quad core Intel um, with eight gigs of RAM. So, I mean, that's plenty fast for me. I might, I might, I might be upgrading sometime soon just because I do a lot of, um, high-end editing and stuff like that, so uh, mostly print editing, Photoshop and work like that. But uh, I might be upgrading that soon, but so far this has been working really good. So that's kind of my main computer, right? This is back in my office, oh, well, my office, um, and I store all my media on a, a share center. It's a D-Link share center, DS, DNS, 320 I think at the time when I bought it was and basically that's hooked up straight into my uh, router so it's not on my machine it's actually in my router and, and it's um, going through my ethernet and I'll show you what that looks like I just took a little picture of it that's my share center it's hooked up to my router back here this is my Xbox on the side and I just have a router and it goes over to my um, sorry I have a switch here and it goes over to my router the next thing I have is I have a Mac Mini. Now this Mac Mini is in my living room and it's connected to my uh, Mac Mini and it's connected to my, my Vizio TV that I have. Uh, the Vizio TV has an, an, I think it's a HDMI connection from the Mac Mini. Jeez, I have something in my eye, sorry guys. Um, it's an HDMI connection from my Mac Mini. So now, what, what do I do to actually use it? Well, I downloaded the software called Plex. It's a free software. Um, if you want to check it out, go to www.plexapp.com. Um, and it comes in two parts. It has a media manager and a media center player, I guess. Um, let me just go real quick. I'll, I'll bring in the media manager. So this is kind of what a media manager looks like. And as you, when you, start putting your movies into it you can tell it where your movies are let's say you have say on me it's on my network on that external drive but you can have a drive on your computer that you could tell this you just add a, a player over here and it'll go in and find all the movies catalog them and like I said you can go by name year when it was added that's just a media part when you get into the actual player part um, you have a lot more uh, leeway so this is just kind of, it just gives you a representation of all the movies you have. This is where you would make changes, excuse me, if for some reason it found 
you know, it found the wrong movie. Like sometimes movies are named similar, and you know, it, it goes out to the internet and actually finds the wrong movie. So this is kind of the way I have, you know, I have my movies, and then I have, uh, I'm kind of a poker junkie, um, and I kind of watch a lot of the poker TV shows, so I have a lot of um, just poker videos that I've collected over the years, and I have some TV shows, which I'm not showing up. Yeah, so I have some TV shows that I've downloaded um, from, like, my DVDs that I buy, and, and the funny thing is, like, I used to have this wall with like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of DVDs and um, and it would literally take up an entire wall of one of my of one of my rooms and I got so tired of it and that's when I started doing everything digital it took me forever I mean a long time to transfer everything digitally and um, but now you know now it's just get a new DVD transfer it digitally and then put it away and, and I just threw away all the cases and just Got myself like a couple of case logics, and I have all the discs, and um, that's kind of how I've been keeping them. Uh, just store, I mean, in storage, really just kind of don't even use the discs anymore. Um, so that's kind of the media manager, and so that the actual media manager, the media is running off of my Mac Pro. So my Mac Pro is doing all of the hard crunching processing because um, it's my fastest computer. So that. And then what happens is, let me just close this off. What happens is you install, once you install the Plex app, it also installs the, the media player, I guess you could call it. Um, and you install that on all your computers. And I read somewhere that they're gonna start putting the software straight onto TV, so you're not even gonna need like a Mac mini that I have on my other TV. Um, and then once you install the software, and you run it, it kind of looks like this, right? So, and there's different skins. You can change all the skins. I have a skin that I like. Um, and of course you can go full screen. You know, if you're gonna watch it on your TV, you'd go full screen. I have it set to a window here. I, ha I have it set to my um, just window so I can kind of show it to you guys. But basically this Plex app, so now, you, you know, on, on my Mac mini, I just have a little Mac mini remote and that controls all of these functions, right? So Plex is actually a great, great software. Basically, you would go first to say, this is where I have my movies, and I would click movies, and it brings me up to my categories. I can look at all my movies, I can see the ones that I haven't watched. It keeps track of which ones you've watched, which ones you haven't watched. It keeps track of where you left off in a movie. It's all great. You can look at them by genre, by year, by decade, by director, by actor, by rating, I mean, there, it, it, you can search for a movie, so it's got an amazing, amazing power compared to the old way of doing things. I mean, I used to have to go through my wall and look for a movie I wanted to watch. Now I can just say, you know, I want to look at uh, action movies or, you know, action movies, and it'll it'll give me a list of all the movies that I have that it has found on the internet to be action movies. So, you know, it just gives me a list. I have you know some movies um, and once you once you get those movies on there right so once you once you find the movie you want to watch you just hit enter it plays the movie right um, same thing with you know it could have I have a section for poker I have two sections for poker actually and I have a section for TV shows um, and then it has other things that are wonderful in this app and this is I I think this is one of the strong suits of it. It has these video plugins. And basically what they mean by video plugins is that you can run your iTunes library if you want. You can run your music plugins as you want. And you can run like your iPhoto plugins. Um, so you can stream like your movies and your, I'm sorry, your movies, your music, and your iPhoto photos just if you want to do like a screen show on your TV. And also the other part that's really strong is that it has open source applications. So people are making applications for this, and um, I guess I don't I don't actually use it on my my uh, Mac Pro that much because I don't watch TV on my Mac Pro. But if you go to my other one, I would have like YouTube, Hulu, um, NBC, MSNBC, like News App. It has everything, um, and I find it to be much better than just watching regular TV. And that's kind of how I do my media streaming and my movies and 
Um, I love it. I mean, it's so much better than regular TV or even plugging in a DVD um, or a Blu-ray, I guess. And it saves up so much space. Um, I can't say enough good things about it. I love it. And I have read some new reviews that they are partnering with Samsung, I believe, and Samsung's going to be releasing some TVs with the Plex app already included. So you would just need a computer to, to manage your media. Like, I have my Mac Pro and I have that hard drive that I showed you. And that manages the media, but you would no longer need to have something that plays it. Like, my, I have a Mac Mini that plays it using my wireless. Um, actually, I'm sorry, I actually use a wired connection there. Um, but now that the TVs are going to come with it, you don't need that anymore. It's just you just need a media manager. It'll find it on your Wi-Fi or your wired network, and it'll play them directly. And uh, it's a great little software, and I do recommend it. Check it out: www.plexapp.com. And uh, enjoy. All right, thank you very much, guys.